We're living in a time when many look on this table narrowly. They don't think a whole lot about it anymore. We're living in a time when this table's actually been put aside. Um, it's like an afterthought. Like if you, if you want to, it, it's over there. And they don't actually stop everything. In other words, they don't actually meet to break bread. So it's just, we're living in a time like this. Why? Why does this happen? Because they don't see this is his table. See, that, it, it would probably do them no good. To, to come to this table if you're not going to remember him. He said, as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. This is his table. Thank God not, this, is not, this is not the way it is everywhere. He's given us a remnant. You, you know, you may meet people that have a high regard for this man that has come and he's, he's brought life and and, and immortality to light because of what he's accomplished. It's always good. It's always good for me. It's always good for the brother to remember him. This is, this is a time of focus that we've been given by him to remember the things that he's done for us. Um, more specifically, his death till he come. I'd like to take, extract a few thoughts today from Romans 4th chapter. Starting at verse 18. It says, who against hope believed in hope? And it's talking about Abraham. And what, what comparison does, do we have with Abraham? We've already talked a little bit about this in our assemblies. He wasn't hoping for heaven. Like, what was he hoping for? He's hoping for a promise. God made him a promise. Now, see, that God did it this way on purpose because he's given us a promise, too. The promise he's given us is everlasting life. Now, see, now you see the genius of God, and he's, he's fleshed it out in Abraham, showed you what it's like for a man to live in hope of a promise. Now, listen. Against hope, believed in hope, that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. He was reckoning on the fact that God told him something, even though it was against everything that was around him. There wasn't anything around him where he could look and it would confirm the promise. He hoped against hope. Didn't make any sense. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead. Even though from the medical standpoint, his body was dead. Didn't make any difference. He hoped against hope. Doesn't make any sense. You know your body's going to die. doesn't make any sense to come to this table and remember that he's promised eternal life. Why do you do it? Because he promised it. You're hoping against hope. Mm-hmm. See, we come to this table not just because re- he said to do it, although we do, because he's promised us something at this table. Fellowship, communion. He's at this table. Yeah. He's administering life. For all those who will hope against hope. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead. When he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Didn't make any difference if Sarah's Sarah's womb had been closed all this time. He knew God was going to open it. How did he know that? Because God promised he would open it. He promised it. That's the only thing Abraham's got to work with is a promise. And if you look at it right, it's the only thing you got to work with. Yes. It's all you got. Only you come to this table, you got to do it by faith. He staggered not at the promise of God. Well, what happens when people remember Christ now? They're not staggering. We're living in a world that's staggering. It's rocking to and fro like a drunkard. But in the midst of it, you got this remnant that aren't staggering at the promise of God. They're strong in faith, giving glory to God. God put something in them that the world can't suppress. The devil himself cannot suppress what happens at this table. It's set maybe in the presence of our enemies. They can't do anything about you receiving a blessing at this table. You come today being strong in faith and giving glory to God and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, 
he was able also to perform. We come today to remember the one that died 2,000 plus years ago. Why? To bring us to God. And we, we see, we, this is a table where we come to remember that. He set it aside a time to remember his death till he come. He's not done yet. See, we're looking forward. We're looking past the now to then. That's what Abraham was doing. He was looking past the now. That, that, that belied everything God said. You look out there, it didn't make any sense. He looked past that. He hoped against hope and he became the father of them that believe. See, this, it, it, his example, now what we've been given is much greater if you just look at the revelation. And yet the concept is the same. You got to hope against hope. It seems there's going to be opposition. Something that's going to stand up and say this isn't really going to happen. See, that's what's happened when people put this table in the back of the room. Push it aside. They forgot. See, this, this, the, the opposition won in that case. But he's not going to lose. This won. This is a marvelous view of our present circumstances. You look back at the examples, every example that God ever g gave. See, they're marvelous examples. Why? Because God made them marvelous examples. He made them to where they're applicable to us. Why? Because we need these things. Because right now we're living by faith and not by sight. The realities is that we come to this table with high anticipations. Yeah. See, high, we know God's, he's like, speaking as a man, he's leaning forward to bless his people. He just wants to see, are they, are they hoping against hope? Do they believe me even though it doesn't make any sense? And to everyone that does, God's going to administer a blessing. Amen. We come to this table because Jesus has asked us, to come as often as you remember, as often as you come together. See, this, this is it's a blessed time. And in one sense, you can say this is a table we've been invited to.